Hello, hello. It is time for our freebie, our Tuesday freebie during Christmas in July. So in front of me, I have the Christmas chest. I will link the, vid the tutorial video below along with where you can get this digital kit. But inside, I've got our project for these freebies. And this is what we're going to make today. So stay tuned for the tutorial. Please. So let me first say thank you for watching. If this is your first time at my channel, welcome. I hope you will come back for all of the freebies, all of the tutorials, and for my digital kit tutorials. So if you are also one of my regular subscribers who are faithful and watch all the time, thank you so much. Please comment, give me a thumbs up, ring the bell if you want to be notified when I'm out in the Bluebird Bungalow creating. So just a quick review. There are two projects that we are going to be making the freebies for. It's for the chest, the Christmas chest, or the Christmas book. And the book is a traveler style with elastics holding in the booklets. The chest is a, an accordion chest. So we're making things to put down inside that chest. So the things I'm I'm tu tutorialing you, tutoring you with are going to be less than eight inches and less than six inches because that's the, the parameters of both the chest and the book. Now, on to the freebies. For this week, it's loaded. I've got many freebies. First of all, you have a sheet of really cute ephemera, Christmas ephemera, and you will, oh, I had to print that twice. You will be getting this kind of neutral backing. If you're like me, I don't like to see my tags with white backing, especially if I'm going to be using them as a tag. So there's two freebies there. Then there is a holly stripe with a neutral kind of a scratchy background. You may see this with other freebies also. There is a Christmas collage and it I do it so that it's kind of viewable, usable from all directions. Sometimes things will be upside down as you're doing it. And that, a holly freebie. So there's two, four, well, one, two, three, four, five, six freebies this week. Oh my, I must be insane. Yes, I am. Anyway, we're going to set these aside. These will be the last things we deal with. I've got these two. What do I want to do? Who do I want to be the main one? I think I'm going to start with this one. Actually, yes. Yes, I'm starting with this one right here. The first thing I'm going to do is trim off all the white. And I could have been prepped, but this is, I, I believe this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial project, I hope. So I'm doing, there's going to be two sheets of freebies involved in this. So I'm going to do cutting the 
white off of two of the sheets. I'm gonna cut that just a little more. And it won't matter because we are gonna cut this down. Oh, come on, trimmer. <laughs> yes, let's do it. There, and while we're at it, let's just cut this to seven inches because that's what we're going to do. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside. You know, we can always use those. Now, this one, we're going to do the same thing. Turn it over and use that as my guide to cut off my white edges. And I hope you're all well. We're in July. I can't even believe it. July. July, July. Well, we've had heat here in Georgia. Which, you know, does that surprise anybody? Well, it shouldn't. If you live here, it's going to be hot in the summer. And humid. All right, I'm cutting this one to seven also. And again, I'm holding on to that, especially there's that cute picture of that little girl. All right, so now are they the same? They are the same. Now, I am going to cut this to six inches. All right. Come on. Where's my six inches? Right there. I'm going to cut that at six inches. And I'm going to cut this at six inches. I think. Do that. Cut this at six inches. And then both of these pieces are going to come into play here in just a moment. Okay, so I am going to score this one. Well, both of them. Score both at two inches or four inches, however you want to look at that. Four inches or turn it around and score it at two. So I'm going to do that one, and do this one also. This is the first one I'm going to work with. So this folds over like that, and then we're going to take this opposite one, and we're going to score this that is not quite five inches. I'm not going to worry about exactness. I am going to score this at, where do I want to score it? I want it to, it's going to wrap around here. I don't want, I want enough space there. I want it that way, maybe. I am going to, going to score it at, well, I need it to come up underneath here, so let's, let's do this. So we're going to score it at two and a quarter. How about that? Let's try that. So two and a quarter. And this, let's fold it. Oh, that's cute Santa. I don't know. Let's find out what we want to do with it. It's going to go that way. You don't really see much of the Santa, so bye Santa. So we're going to put this on here like that. And I'm going to make some thumb notches. I'm not usually a perfectionist with this, but I am going to make a little 
score there and a little score here at three and a half so that I know where middle is to make my notches. wasn't going to distress or stress or distress but I think that I am because it's much easier now come on cooperate with me so I'm just gonna go down that nope this is what's showing come on edge here, there, and along there, and there, and let's do this, right there, some things may not show, but I, as you're doing it, it's, it's hard to know, so you might as well just do it. I'm not sure what's going to show inside here. You would think I'd know. These straight edges we can do later. All right. Set you over there. Okay. So now this is going to glue on like that. Let's do it. Oh, I see something. All right, so I am gonna going to glue. Oh, look, it's working. I just love it when glue does what it's supposed to do. All right, and I need to say you do want to do this with. Well, generally speaking, you would want to do this with a double-sided paper that you've printed on both sides. Or if you're just going to make this out of paper you have on hand, choose a double-sided. Okay? This translates really nicely to a 6 by 6 It just would be shorter. All right. We've got that. We're going to set this aside bring these two into play. So, hold that. Yes, so we're going to let this Yes. Okay, and then I'm going to score this what did we do with that one? We scored it at, we scored it at, what did we score it at? Two and a half. Two and a half. And then we're going to put little notches at notches not notches yes notches but we're going to put a little score so we get there them quite close to middle okay come on come on come on and I do need to distress I need to distress that side this. Now when you're doing this with double-sided paper, and if there's a pattern on both of them, both sides, you do want to kind of plan out the direction, especially if it is directional. This is not so much directional as this one was, but we'll find out if I planned right. And I have to give credit to Corey Damon, 
who I saw this quite a while ago that she did and it's just been a favorite once when I saw her do it I was getting ready to go on a trip so I made one for me and for my travel companion just to keep receipts and notes about our trip and my thought is with this we will use this for our receipts for Christmas all right so we need to same thing gluing this down just like that all the way across and now honestly at this point you could say well this is all I need I just need this cute little envelope like this and truthfully with your book if you make the book this could slide underneath there and just be in your book okay you wouldn't need to do the full tutorial I'm doing but let me continue onward it's your choice so now I have two that are the same so let's see this one is gonna either go there see that's just too much so I think I could turn over like that Nope, again, too much. So we're doing, what are we doing? What are we doing? Nope, that. Could do that. No, nope. we're going back to this. Nope. Okay, I'm. Um, you know, we are going to do that. And then when this opens inside, I don't, I wanted something different. So we'll do this. It's not exciting. Okay. Exciting. Yes, Pat, we love exciting. I am going to trim just a titch off of this because I want a little more showing there. So I'm just taking off maybe maybe a quarter of an inch. Let's hope it's quick. It's straight. Yeah, that looks cute. Because now we've got three levels there. Let's hurry and do this. Just like that. And to combine these two we are going to glue this and along there. So I'm leaving them together. I'm going to go up across here. There's just a little and along here with a thin strip and up there. Glue that down open this up make sure we didn't put too much glue there and then that comes back around there so we have a pocket and a pocket and a pocket and a pocket and this comes around there now a couple of further things we are going to make uh, what did I do with that? We're going to make a closure for this. And I'm going to make it a tab. I'm going to cut this. This is just some craft cardstock I have. I think. to cut 
this at three inches and I sh I'm going to score it because I want a nice it's going to go right there that's a little big that's a little big let's take it to an inch to an inch and three quarters. All right. And I'm going to cut that corner. And actually, 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 I haven't used it for a while. Do I have it here? I have a guide. like that, isn't it? So I'll flip this over and cut that same. And then I should have, yeah, no, nope. We're going to not, we're not going to fuss and fret. We are not. A little distressing. there, but I do want an eyelet. So, to use my crocodile. If you don't have a crocodile, you can use a hole punch and then set the eyelet or just not even worry about an eyelet. and come up with maybe a piece of elastic that will go around it. And I'm thinking I may do elastic because it's so convenient. Okay. Just like that. And let's put a little mark where center is. Remember how tall it was? Seven inches. I remember that. I don't necessarily remember who I am at any given moment. Okay, we're not attaching it to that top one. So, three and a half. It's right there. Okay, so I'm going to put my glue here. Could have been done before, most definitely. I'm going to slide. Where's my mark? Went to all that trouble. There it is right there. So I'm going to slide that in to there. All right. So we can use this, let's see, I want to add a few pieces of this ephemera to decorate this. They're all a little big, aren't they? I probably don't need them for decorating, so I'm just going to cut along these down here. So we have something to tie in, since we don't have receipts yet. These could be for little notes that you want to leave yourself. Or just, just pretties. Should have a timer going. Try to make these short. Do short well. I 
don't do short well. The only thing I do short well is cleaning, which I just, it's like I've done, I walk away. Okay, don't like that light. Let's trim you off. What was there we don't even miss, right? If you can't see it, you don't even know it was there. All right. And there. I am using vintage photo distress oxide. It seems to be my go-to. A lot of what I did with the the chest and the the Christmas chest and the Christmas book I did black because I really wanted it to be um, distinctive and showing but for these things I think black is harsh so we're gonna slide you in there and we're gonna slide you in there slide one in there. Now, in here, yes, we're not done yet. I am putting some, what am I doing? I'm going to put some note paper. So, this seven inches so I'm gonna make this a little less than seven and I know I should be able to figure this out but I'm gonna make them three and a half so I do this I am. It's just going to be note paper. So I'm going to cut it in half, and that should be five and a half. So five and a half. Now, if you want it bigger, do it bigger. So I'm going to fold it in half. This is just some, I think it's, what is that? It's avocado stained paper. And now that it's summer and it will dry faster, I need to do it. Now, I am going to staple these in. You can sew them in with a two pamphlet stitch, but I am just going to use this handy dandy stapler. I like it better than a long, long arm stapler because it's pretty brainless. I just need to make sure my folds are all matching and I just staple. Oh ho ho, if they're staples. If, 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 if. Oh my goodness, do I have some staples here? Oh, I've got colored staples. I should have had them out. What are these? These came from We Are Memory Keepers. Now I'm going to be mad. Now I'm going to want that green on the other one. Do I? Yes, I do. I am going to take that staple out because I want green. it out, take it out. Now let's see if we can staple in the same place. That will be a trick, won't it? Not gonna look. All right. Okay. Let's set this aside. I will put a link to Amazon for that. It's not cheap. 
and it's not expensive. It just depends on how you look at things. Now, we open that up. There's our note paper. We can use those pockets. Last thing, the last thing we're gonna do is put some elastic on that closure. Now, come on, I know I had it here. Now we'll use this. This is some one point, let's see, one, one point millimeter. So it's very thin. So we're going to just kind of go around here. Trim. Not, we don't want it terribly thick. And so now I'm just going to tie a knot overhand knot and then I'm going to do a slip knot in there. Did I make it small enough? It's okay. Just like that. Let's trim these down. Okay. I, I'm happy with this. I hope you are. So I think that we can utilize all this space. Now this, you can put something small in there. Not necessarily a Monopoly card, but you can put maybe business cards or cards that you get at a, at a craft show that you want to, you want to order from. And then open this up. You can have your receipts or your lists that you'll take with you shopping. And let me show you. Now, here's, here's our Christmas chest. And I did make these so they're for many years. So this can be used this year, next year, until it falls apart. Same with the chest. So in here, this will just slide right down in there for when we are ready to start shopping. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you'll comment. Give me some feedback. Nice feedback is always preferred. And if you are on my Facebook group, I would love to see what you create. All right, I'm going to say goodbye. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.